for six with writing people in. The archivist is, um, they're quite close to you at the moment. They are in, uh, they're in K11. I'm looking at the third floor, right? Yes. Oh, boy. Uh, so, um, uh, right, so Laker has vaulted up the stairs and, and found herself on the, on the third floor. Um, is there anything else you would like to do with your turn, Laker? I would just like to talk so far. What's going on here? That's a good question, and I will allow it. Okma to answer. Uh, what kind of game are you playing here? You want to stay? Like, forever? Because I want to move on. I want to go back home. Oh, uh, well, I guess that's a good point. But I haven't had a chance to be art before. Art? Uh, the archivist shouts he will be immortalized as a uh, recreation of the finest artworks of the ancient. It will I be a, a, like them alive. What do you mean immortalized? <laughs> like them. <laughs> Yeah, actually, you know, I, I think, I speaking that. of thinking, I, I Akma may put two and two together at this point, say, wait a minute. And I, I'm not sure I really thought this all the way through. Okay, cool. Um, right. Uh, Laker, is there anything else you would like to do? Uh, I, let's say you probably have... Uh, your standard action next. So just conversation, probably a free action, possibly even a lot. Most of mine. Given the fact that the archivist is making art of Okma, I'm probably going to employ the freeze ray. <laughs> just because it seems appropriate. That's I would like to make some kind of art of him. That is fine. Okay. And I'm probably going to offer up a comment about that. So you like art? <laughs> Wait, uh, three, that's three. 29. Against, not that I need to know the answer to that. I but. rolled a 20. That's a critical hit, right? That is. Oh, yeah, that would definitely be a critical hit using your new and exciting critical hit. Um, uh, okay, so this is. Oh my god. Um, oh my. I don't need to know gosh. which. Well, well since, so, uh, yes. since Sven poses no threat, problem, or danger whatsoever, I guess this solves all of our problems. He might no longer have a boss. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens to the unfortunate um, Just artist. help me through this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How does it work? So, against three is right. mm -hmm. so uh, it says, on a hit, I roll 2d10. Uh, okay, that seems like a... Well... How does it work, Ross? You do the first attack. Yeah, give me one second. The basic attack is the critical result in and of itself, right? So and then you get the you add do, You do maximum damage with your attack that you rolled the critical hit for. So whatever the most it could do is. For that's uh, the free So 2d10. 20 yeah. plus... Your intelligence modifier, which is... Uh, five. Good. That's 25. Plus twice my level, that's six, that's 31. Okay, so you do that damage to the target, and they are stunned until the end of your next turn. So you that's the freeze ray, and then she that's gets... That's the freeze ray. Freeze ray. Right. And then I have an extra d10, which I roll. Is that right? Uh, let's have a quick look. Uh, so your 
critical. You went with the uh, telekinetic one, or the no, you went with the doppelganger one. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you do an extra one d ten damage, uh, and you get to use double trouble. So you can do pain. That's thirty-seven in total for damage. And well, what? wait, I don't know if that, does that add to the damage, Ross? Oh, does it, does it add to the yes, damage? That would, yes, okay. so that's so, 37 in total. So it's in total, okay, cool, right. Uh, right, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, the archivist is severely damaged and battered, and uh, we'll describe that more in a, in a moment. Um, Mm, interesting choice of words. Uh, so, um, they are obviously stunned uh, in a single in one place, uh, standing there across the room from you. Uh, something weird and strange shimmers and flickers about them as they um, uh, stand there looking. Archivisty and possibly not quite so archivisty. I don't know. Then weird visual effects are happening, um, and I believe you get to use double trouble. Yeah, and I'm a little bit tempted to show up next to Swain again. Um, so how many squares is it downstairs? <laughs> <You who? laughs> Good question. Um, so Sven is one, two, three. Uh, so then it's about four squares away from you as the crow flies. I don't think, uh, in terms of using that power, it cares that you'd have to go down the staircase and deal with the uh, additional distance that that counts as. So you can certainly put uh, your doppelganger next to Sven downstairs, or below, somewhere like, uh, let's say Sven was in uh, G14 on that map. Um, so you could certainly put your doppelganger in any square near, next to that if you wanted to. You said G14. And that's yes. the middle level. Yes. I will describe that more in a bit more detail later on. But only because I quite like the fact that the thing in the middle of the room is a uh, uh, one of those machines you get in a um, dry cleaners with loads of like, things. Perfectly preserved in dry cleaning bag. Uh. <laughs> um, anyway, ignoring that for a moment. Um, Spends in G14. Uh, Geiger will put on the map in a minute, but it'll probably be fairly close to there if you want to be. Um, I was and, thinking something like H11 or something like that. H11 works for me. Makes sense. Close enough to the showers. Yep. Uh, so, uh, Laker, uh, Doppelganger appears somewhere like, uh, it's up to you, Helmer, but I imagine something like G or H13. Or you could be at the bottom of the stairs if you prefer, which would, I suppose, be uh, H14. So... Mm. I'll take H14. Okay. Uh, Geiger, can you repeat where you were? H11. Do not stay too close to him. Or Here, I can't change that right now. It isn't me, Geiger. Don't okay. worry too much. <laughs> okay, so the doppelganger appears there and gets its own turn in just a moment. Um, I don't think... Is there anything else that Laker needs to do um, before we move on? Probably going to walk over to Akma. Uh, you did use up your move by going yeah, and ultimately yeah. stayed. Yes, so. you're right. So, no. Okay. Uh, so, uh, just doing a quick time check. How are people doing for... I think we should finish this round Actually, and then close it out. I was going to say continue the round. That sounds good to me. Um, so, uh, Helmer, uh, Laker's doppelganger has appeared next to Sven and gets its own turn. Um, what are you going to do? Hmm? 
sorry, uh, your your doppelganger has appeared next to Sven, and I believe it gets its own turn immediately after you, so it goes, it goes next. Mm, just... I'm probably going to... Actually... Hmm. He's just going to pick up a knife. Okay. And I don't really know if my double kanger can talk. I don't see why not. In which case I would tell Swen very friendly it's time to vanish. If he knows what's good for him. Uh, I think Sven is probably glaring at the confusion at your reappearance. I absolutely hope so. <laughs> okay, so it sounds like Sven is being attacked. Yes, you could call it that. <laughs> Let's see how my double gang affairs. Nineteen... Nineteen against AC. Okay, so you see, that's enough to hit. Yeah. That's okay. How much damage do you do? Uh, you're, you're knifing. Um... Yeah, but I use only one. So... Okay. That's seven. Hey. Just poking him a little bit. Yes, uh, the knife uh, stabs in and bounces off and you can see sparks flying the metal and beat his phone. Um, Noted. <laughs> okay. Uh, that happens. Does the doppelgang have any idea what to do? Nope. Okay. Cool. In that case, we'll go down the next person in uh, order. Uh, Geiger, I believe that is you. Mm -hmm. Well, Geiger tells uh, Sven, hey, toaster, catch. And I uh, throw in the grenade like passing it so that he catches it in his hands and then kaboom. Oh, okay. So it's level plus six versus reflex. That's a total of nine. Okay. Um, twenty-six versus reflex. That's enough to hit the android. Sorry, the hit Sven. Yes. Two D ten plus my dexterity modifier, which isn't much, I think, but it's still yeah. Two D ten. And I'm going five physical damage, save ends. My 2d10 damage is... 10. Well, it's average. So uh, 10. But he's that 10? Moving. Yeah, 10 total, plus... 10 total damage? Yeah, plus... Oh, he's going to take five on go. I won't go damage, so that's okay. I'm imagining him being uh, uh, an android like an alien and they have white blood or something. Oh, uh, well, he was more of a metal android. If I'm, I think yes. another, I think another movie is being referenced here, Tazio. Uh, 